Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemmy Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a temperature calculator. Now, already on my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Temperature Calc for the purpose of this tutorial. So what we're going to be basically doing is have a text field where we can enter in our temperature in Fahrenheit and we press a button and it will calculate that temperature and do some mathematical kind of equations and um, convert it into Celsius within our label. So before we start anything we need to head over to our main Dutch storyboard where we can place in all our objects to enable us to uh, create this application. So the first things first, we're going to need a text field. So we just drag one of those in. We're going to have our button, make it nice and big. Our button, that's where we press that, it will convert the temperature within the text field to the, and then kind of convert it and place it or display it within our label. So I'll just place that in underneath our button. Okay, so now we've done that, we can head over to our viewcontroller.h or we can go to the assistant editor, the little butler suit here where it will be easiest for us to add in our um, actions and outlets. So just change it from the viewcontroller.hem at the top here to viewcontroller.h. I'm just going to put a bracket in here to separate the codem and some spaces so you can see clearly where I'm typing it out. So we need to control click or right click and drag our um, text field to our outlet here. And I'll simply name this text field. It's nice and easy to understand. Uh, same with the label. And I'll just simply name this label. Again, very easy to understand when we come to the coding. And for the button, we need to create our action. So I change this to action, and I'll simply name, well, give this the name of convert temp. So convert the temperature. And we're also going to have to add an action for our text field. As soon as we're using a text field, click action, we need to be able to dismiss the keyboard. So to do that on the event, we're going to change that from editing did end on exit to uh, did end on exit. There we go. And we'll simply name this dismiss keyboard. Very simple. Okay, now once you've done that, we can close our assistant editor. Uh, our, um, all our objects have uh, been linked up to actions and outlets. So in our .h here, you can see it all being typed out all for us. So if you do our, jump into our viewcontroller.m, you can now see our actions already kind of preset out for us nice and easy. So what we need to do is in our convert temp action here, this will be our, um, our button. We simply need to create the um, kind of kind of calculation of how we need to uh, convert our Fahrenheit into Celsius. So to do this we simply write out double space and we'll give it the name um, Fahrenheit uh, space equals space uh, we'll give it the name Fahrenheit so we you know it's easy to understand when we come to like the code well coding in the, the calculation stuff like that. So Fahrenheit is going to be uh, um, space equals space bracket. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, text uh, field uh, dot text. So the Fahrenheit is going to equal what's in our text field dot text, and we're going to double value. Let's end that with a bracket and a semicolon. Kind of repeat the process again with double, and this time it will be for our Celsius. So Celsius. I think that's how you spell it correctly there. Uh, space equals space, and then we do the little bendy bracket. Of, um, can't remember what that was called again. So we do Fahrenheit. Here we go. Um, it's going to be minus 32 in a bracket. Uh, space forward slash will divide by 1.8. Uh, and that with a semicolon. So that's going to be uh, Celsius is equal Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8. And that kind of creates the calculation into Celsius from our Fahrenheit. So once we've done the calculation we need to then display the result within our label. So we need to do ns string space asterisk uh, we simply name this result uh, result string nice and easy to understand space equals space bracket bracket ns string space all allocate or alloc space um, init with format so it's not there I need to write it out in it. Ooh. 
with format. There we go. And in the NS string, we need to do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark. And I'll just come back to that in a second. And then we just do a comma uh, Celsius and then a bracket in a semicolon. So then in our two um, quotation marks here, we need to I'll simply write out Celsius. Uh, and then the um, percentage sign and now this is a bit the kind of not, not tricky section but this is the section where you would want to kind of play around with it so I've already got it preset to 4.2f now what this would do is um, place our calculation of our Celsius when you've done the calculation within the um, percentage sign and the F but the reason I have 4.2 is kind of the format in which it displays so it's going to display with a decimal point so it's going to have before so there's see the decimal, decimal point in the middle there we we'll click on it there uh, so before the decimal point I'm, I'm going to allow it to have up to four digits be displayed then after the decimal point I'm going to have it be allowed to display two um, digits after the decimal point which means the calculation will kind of be displayed to the nearest two decimal um, places uh, once it's been printed in our label so you can play with this you can change the two here up to five meaning I have um, up to five um, um, digits after the decimal spot but I'm doing two for now as it kind of uh, looks a little bit nicer and it's kind of easy to calculate or kind of read it once you've done the calculation so once we've uh, got the string set up there we need now need the label to um, display the string so we need to do label dot text equals um, space equals space sorry uh, it's going to equal our result string so end that with a semicolon so that's all it, all it is now so we're going to get our um, so our Fahrenheit is going to equal what's been entered in the text field here uh, then Celsius is going to equal Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8 that kind of works out the um, kind of the convert on the Fahrenheit to Celsius it's then going to be um, create a string and the string is going to equal Celsius um, and then the um, calculation of our Celsius here up here and then our label is um, that text is going to equal the result string which is our NS string which will be this here uh, we also need to create a action here to um, dismiss the uh, keyboard. So do brackets self uh, resign uh, first responder and then a bracket and a semicolon. So we can dis dismiss the keyboard if it comes into view and it overlaps any of our objects. So make sure you're on the iPhone simulator. We're going to go to build and run and test it all out. Uh, we don't need to do anything in the uh, interface as we've already linked up all our actions and objects. So we're ready to go. So we just wait for the simulator to load up now. Okay, so now once it's loaded up in the um, text field here, I'm going to simply um, write um, um, some Fahrenheit, I'm going to put 100, and if I press the button, it will convert the into Celsius, which is 37.78 uh, degrees in Celsius. Now, the, uh, if I press the return button here, it dismisses the keyboard again, so that's how um, our button down here, our IB Action Dismiss Keyboard, and I can change it up, I can maybe do 50, uh, um, Fahrenheit and it will convert into 10 degrees Celsius uh, and here we go again so we allowed it up to four um, digits before the um, decimal place and then two um, after meaning it's converting only two after if we added four there'll be an additional two digits after the decimal point as what we've got now so that's simply how you create a temperature calculator and kind of how you convert temperatures in in a you know in sense. Uh, so yeah, if this helped in any of your apps or projects at the moment, make sure you leave us a comment and leave us a like. Uh, make sure you um, go follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Um, if you haven't, make sure you go check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store just by simply searching Geek11. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got him my pinky. I got him. No, it's not my pinky. I got him my finger. <laughs>